Ruby chapter 16, black and white. What's up guys? Amalgam Wildcard here. So I was looking for more Ruby episodes and apparently this is the last one of volume one. Finally made it to the end of volume one. Now, whenever, when will I get to volume two? I don't know. Probably sometime soon. But I still have other reactions I need to get done and out of the way. So I'll go ahead and get this one done. Make sure to let me know what you think. What else you want me to react to, etc. So let's not waste any more time and get to it. Don't really have anything I don't speaks. like about the series. Nearly two days and you're giving me nothing but small talk and weird looks. Yeah, like that. Son, are you familiar with the White Fang? Of course. I don't think there's a faunus on the planet who hasn't heard of them. Stupid, holier-than-thou creeps that use force to get whatever they want. Bunch of freaks, if you ask me. I was once a member of the White Fang. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, you were a member of the White Fang? That's right. I was a member for most of my life, actually. You could almost say I was born into it. Back then, things were different. In the ashes of war, the White Fang was meant to be a symbol of peace and unity between humans and the Faunus. Of course, despite being promised equality, the Faunus were subjected to discrimination and hate. Humanity still thought of us as lesser beings. And so, the White Fang rose up as a voice of our people. And I was there. I was at the front of every rally. I took part in every boycott. And I actually thought we were making a difference. But I was just a youthful optimist. Then, five years ago, our leader stepped down. And a new one took his place. A new leader with a new way of thinking. Suddenly, our peaceful protests were being replaced with organized attacks. We were setting fire to shops that refused to serve us. Hijacking cargo from companies that used Fauna's labor. And the worst part was, it was working. We were being treated like equals. But not out of respect. Out of fear. So, I left. I decided I no longer wanted to use my skills to aid in their violence. And instead, I would dedicate my life to becoming a huntress. So here I am. A criminal hiding in plain view. All with the help of a little black bow. Hmm. So, have you told your friends any of this? That's true. hear her side of the story before we jump to any conclusions. I think when we hear it, you'll all realize I was right. No. Nope. I think Weiss's hair looks wonderful today. Ah, Penny, where did you come from? Hey, guys, what are you up to? Uh... We're looking for our friend Blake. Oh, you mean the Faunus girl. Wait, how did you know that? Uh, the cat ears? What cat ears? She wears a... bow. <laughs> she does like tuna a lot. So, where is she? We don't know. She's been missing since Friday. <gasps> That's terrible. Well, don't you worry, Ruby, my friend. I won't rest until we find your teammate. Uh, that's really She's nice weird. of you, Penny. Uh, but we're we're okay. Really. Right, guys? <laughs> that tumbleweed though. Sure is windy today. So, What's the plan now? I still don't believe it the sounds like Josh behind Keaton. these robberies. They've never needed Not that much quite, dust though, before. But a little bit. What if they did? I mean, the only way to prove that they didn't do it eh, is to mind. go to the place where they would most likely go to if they were to do it and not find them there. Right? The only thing is, I have no idea where that would be. 
Well, while I was on the ship, I heard some guys talking about offloading a huge shipment of dust coming in from Atlas. How huge? Huge. Big Shinny Company freighter. You're sure? Thanks anyways. This is hopeless. You really don't care if we find her, do you? Don't be stupid. Of course I do. I'm just afraid of what she'll say when we find her. The innocent never run, Yang. Hmm. So, Blake is your friend? <sighs> yes, Penny. But you're mad at her? Yes. Well, well, I'm not. Weiss is. Is she friends with Blake? Well, that's kind of up in the air right now. But why? <sighs> Well, you see, Blake might not be who we thought she was. Is she a man? No, no, <laughs> Penny. She's not. I don't like know what first she Jenner. is. She didn't exactly talk to us before she decided to run off. I don't have a lot of friends. But if I did, I would want them to talk to me about things. Me too. Did I miss anything? Not really. They've offloaded all the crates from the boat. Now they're just sitting there. Cool. I stole you some food. Do you always break the law without a second thought? Hey, weren't you in a cult or something? Hmm. <laughs> okay, too soon. Grab the tow cables. You really didn't think they were behind it, did you? No. I think deep down I knew. I just didn't want to be right. Hey! What's the hold up? We're not exactly the most inconspicuous bunch of thieves at the moment, so why don't you animals try to pick up the pace? This isn't right. The White Fang would never work with a human, especially not one like that. Hey, what are you doing? You idiot! This isn't a leash. What the? Oh, for f nobody move! <laughs> Whoa! Take it easy, there, little lady. Brothers of the White Fang, why are you aiding this scum? <laughs> oh, kid. Didn't you get the memo? What are you talking about? Uh, the White Fang and I are going in on a joint business venture together. Tell me what it is, or I'll put an end to your little operation. I wouldn't exactly call it a little operation. That Ruby really saw the first episode, so he's with the yeah, white thing. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Or no, he's working yeah. with the white thing. Ah. Monkey boy, leave her alone. You are not the brightest banana in the bunch, are you, kid? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what his weapon can do. First that. Alright! <laughs> teleporting! Woo! Oh, that- oh! Dude! Staff to nunchucks that are also revolvers or pistols or whatever. Now that that was freaking awesome. Oh, hello, Red. Isn't it past your bedtime? Ruby, are these people your friends? Penny, get back. Hmm. 
<laughs> uh oh. Betty, wait! Stop! Don't worry, Ruby. I'm combat ready. Oh! Hello. Yo! Nice! I was not expecting that at one bit. But that's cool. She's not even human. She's like a, an android. <laughs> that was cool. Made me like this series even more. Look, Lace, it's not what you think. She explained the whole thing. You see, she doesn't actually wear a bow. She has kitty ears, and they're actually kind of cute. Rice, I want you to know that I'm no longer associated with the White Fang. Back when I was with... Stop. Do you have any idea of how long we've been searching for you? Twelve hours. That means I've had twelve hours to think about this. And in that twelve hours, I've decided... care you don't care you said you're not one of them anymore right no i i haven't been since i was uh, younger uh, 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 i don't want to hear it <laughs> all i want to know is that the next time something this big comes up you'll come to your teammates and not some someone else <laughs> oh of course she started to cry Not quite sure how I feel about you. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Where's Penny? You should know better than to go running around in a strange city. I know, sir. Penny, what? your time will come. Wait, so who is she with? Hmm. seen all the voices Cannot get enough of this show. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's beautiful. But yeah. I really need to get on season. I mean volume 2 and 3 now. And I hope. That when I finish. They decide to make another. Volume. Now to anybody who's seen volume 3. Or is watching. Have they finished 3 yet? Are there any talks of a four? Because I want there to be more. So that's it, really. 
I never thought I would be into this TV show. I mean, not TV show. I never thought I'd be into this series, but you know, I love it. It's freaking awesome. So that's it, guys. If you liked the video, like, subscribe, and share. Leave your comments down below, and I will see you on the flip side. Woo woo!